When the Iron Bank visits King's Landing, Cersei announces to their envoy, Tycho Nestorus, that it will be paid in full, to which he responds she is truly Tywin's daughter. Following the sack of Highgarden, Tycho is pleased to be promised the gold taken from Highgarden's vaults, to which he praises Cersei as being equal to or better than her father as a strategist. When Randall Tarly, his son Dickon, as well as a handful of men refused to bend the knee to Daenerys after the Battle of the Gold Road, Tyrion points out that Cersei murdered Marjorie and destroyed House Tyrell for good. Randall counters that Cersei is at least a true Westerosi, and that Tyrion is a kinslayer, having killed his father, as well as supporting a foreigner, bringing savages to their continent. When Tyrion confronts Cersei in the Tower of the Hand, coincidentally, in the very office that both he and Tywin occupied during their tenures as Hand of the King, she once again blames him for their father's death, claiming that her children Marcella and Tommen would not have lost their lives if Tywin had remained alive. Tyrion does not deny his killing of Tywin, adding that to some degree he hates himself for killing his own father, in spite of the cruelty Tywin showed him all his life.